Hey guys, um, it's Mike here. So in today's video, we are gonna go through with you some of the uh, ways, steps for you to flash your Polaris base uh, graphic cards, um, like the RX 580, RX 570, RX 560. So they basically uses the same ways for you to mod and flash your mod. Ah, uh, you mean your BIOS of your graphic cards. So what's the benefits of doing that? So majorly, um. Your, the purpose of doing that is to um, to stabilize your card if you are doing Ethereum mining. So what you can do is that you can achieve like for RX 580, you can get roughly like 30 mega hash to 29 to 30 mega hash uh, <clears throat> using roughly around 70 to 80 watt of uh, power. Uh, RX 570, you can get roughly around 28 to 29. Um, Mega hash running at around 100 watt of power, and then RX 560 you can roughly get around 14 odd mega hash using roughly around like less than 50 watt of power. So it's as much efficient after you flash it uh, compared to you just do it uh, on the stock BIOS ROM itself. So today I'm going to show you the way on how you can actually flash it. Um, yeah, mod and flash on bar is actually pretty easy. So yeah, let's just get on with it. Okay, so first of all, what you need to do is to um, download some stuff that you need. Okay, um, so make sure that if you go to here, you can see there are some stuff that has already been downloaded. So um, there are you need the Polaris BIOS Editor 1.6.7. Then you need the ATI Win Flash program, and you need the ATI MDEC patcher itself. So I'll, I'll leave a link down below where you can download all this stuff. And uh, of course, the best of all, if you have GPU Z. So first of all, you can just open up, like launch GPU Z when you actually uh, after you download it. So you use this program to actually do a backup of your ROM. So if you see a button here, so you can actually just click on this and save a file to database where you'll save your save your BIOS file to a BIOS backup folder. So this folder are meant to store your stock ROM without uh, without doing any alteration to it. So as you can see there are three cards here now. So you can just repeat the process and backup your BIOS from here. This is a very important step so please make sure you back up the BIOS before doing anything to it. Right? So of course, you have option to actually do the uh, BIOS backup via the ATI Win Flash, but this is a more direct way, so it's solely totally up to you. So after you have done the backup of BIOS, you can just close this off. Okay, so the next thing you need to do is to actually navigate to your BIOS. I mean, where do you store your BIOS? So if you go to your, for my case, is two. This is all the BIOS backup. So normally what I'll do is I'll just go to the mod BIOS side. Um, you will basically make a copy of your stock BIOS and put it over here. It's like the stock ROM here and all you need to do is just open a, for example, you just open the Polaris mass editor. So you just run an administrator for this and yes. Uh, this message will be there. It's um, so far I've done flashes for three cards, and I doesn't need to do any activate CSM and stuff with this one. So you just click yes. If you look at it, you just open the BIOS file that you have. And what I said, preferably you copy out the stock ROM that you have, and you just open up one of this. And what I said, open up the Gigabit or Colorfire stock ROM. Then you'll see all this here. Um, you can for me if you want things simple. You can just ignore this and just do a one clean timing patch. So far, it works for every card that I have. They will do the memory timing strap accordingly. And what you need to do now is just to save as <coughs> Yellow ROM. For example, I put it uh, Color Fire Stop ROM mod. Just do a dash one. Then I will just do a C from here. Yep, that's done. Your the file is saved. So you can see, if you take a look at it, then your file is basically now here. Dot mod, mod one dot rom. And yeah, you have done. You have done with your mod and stuff, right? 
So once that is done, then we move on to the next step. Okay, so what we do next, okay, normally what we'll do next is to do the actual flash of the BIOS itself. So what you normally do is to use the, I mean, the simplest way is to use the ATI win flash. So you need to run this as administrator. So when you open it up, you just need to wait for it to load. It will normally take a while. So if you look at it, so that's the three cards that you have here. So you have RX580 series, you have ATI Polaris 10 and ATI Polaris 11. So there's three card, right? So for my case, Polaris 10 is RX570. So you need to make sure that you check the thing properly on that on that end to make sure this one to eight gig if you look at it so one to eight bit so this is the rx560 this one is the rx570 so you will need to select the actual card itself for you to do the flash like for example if you select this ATI polaris 11 right one one to eight bit count so then this one would be the uh, rx560 you can actually just save you, you can click on save this one will basically save the bias rom as what i've shown you earlier you can back up the bias file or you can load image for this you can load image and you select the mod bias that you have to load image right so mod bias rom like this right so if you after that you will just need to program it and the uh, flash will run then you'll just need to wait for it to complete please don't stop anything in the process just wait for the rom to load finish and after you are done please press on cancel so that you don't restart the machine right so once the machine is done and stuff then what you normally do is to run ati m deck patcher already patched for my case so if you found, they will have found here, if it's found, then you just do a uh, patch again. Press on OK and they will patch the drivers and stuff. So this step is needed so that when you reboot the machine, Windows 10 will recognize your driver and you won't have an exclamation mark on your driver and everything will still run perfectly after that, right? So once you are done with this step, you will reboot your PC and that's, that's it, finish. You have flash, your, um, your graphic card. You mod and flash your graphic card successfully. So the next step would be how you lower down the power usage and <clears throat> make your <clears throat> cut run faster than the whatever that's supposed to be, right? So let's just move on to the next step. Okay, so this will be the last step of your... Um, I normally use an overdrive tool for me, uh, for this case, because normally I'll use MSI Afterburner for the standard cards. But if you want to actually lower down your voltage and um, and also to actually control your graphic card that after you flash, I think this tool makes more sense. It's, it's a bit more, it's easier to use, frankly. I mean, like, I can't say it's easier to use, but it's more direct. So it's easier for you to um, manage your core clock, memory clock as well as the power that is needed to be. So you just run this administrator. So if you look at it, this is the settings. You can do a reset all and this is all the settings that they have. And like for RX 580, I have some profiles that I've received and I can just load it up easily. So normally what we'll do for this card is that we'll disable all the different state previously. Like for RX 580, as well as the memory state. So normally we'll put in um, 1001 and 850 for this value. And your memory normally will put 2000 or 850. So the, the value differs. So end of the day, it depends on what card you have. For my card, it's a Samsung RAM. And it's stated that it, might, it should be able to go up to 2200 megahertz for the memory clock. But somehow rather, 2000 is the maximum I can go for. If I go higher than that, there will be a lot of memory errors that appears when I check with hardware info. So, so this one is the state where I will, I will have zero memory errors. And you can actually set the and then for the power itself some of them can go down to 800 some of them can go up to 850 and um, normally 900 is the normal normal range so you need to tweak that along but 850 is pretty safe for the core clock so you can actually put 850 for that memory clock itself you can tweak up and down up to how it depends on which card you're using 
and you can just save the profiles after that and apply it to apply for the card right so for example I'll apply this then I'll just apply for RX 580 then I'll apply this this is my clock then for, for 570 if you look at it I have a 570 profile here as well then if I load it then you can see it is the same so for my RX 570 the maximum memory clock I can go for is 1950 before having any uh, hardware errors appearing in hardware info so that's the maximum I can go for then uh, as previously the same all the P state is disabled so you disable the P state and you just apply your changes right and for RX 560 it's a bit different as well so you look for RX 560 itself and you can load it in and apply at the same time so <clears throat> and you can load it up and take a look so this is the state that you have 1175900 and 1950-850 so so once you are done with all that stuff then you can go ahead and do your dual mine de decred uh, but dual mine itself just bear in mind if you are dual mining so make sure that you set the DRCI correctly so that you don't over uh, what do you call that they might not hit the desired level that you want on the on the mega edge itself for the card so for this this kind of settings my cards can reach for rx580 i can reach roughly around 30 megahertz mega hash for my um, rx580 28 to 29 mega hash from rx570 and rx560 i reach around 14 mega hash so it's actually not it's pretty good compared to my stock rom and the temperature stays pretty good at um 70 less than 75 percent 75 degree and the um, power consumption is pretty good as well rx580 is at 7, 70 to 80 watt uh, 570 at 100 watt and uh, 560 is the best it's running at like 30 to 40 watts so uh, so that that's all i have for today um the steps for you to actually flash and mod your own uh, mod and flash your own bios for your graphic card so um if you like the video please give it a thumbs up if you have any question please feel free to leave a comment down below and let me know uh, to see whether I can help in, in this sense um, So I hope to see you again soon So <clears throat> bye